Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. So it's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, official, amazing Mr. Maker. She's here today, y'all, in LA. Uh, uh, how you feel about it? I'm good, I'm good. What's up? <laughs> Man, make sure you what? Make sure you, you like forgetting it. today. I know. I guess it's the change of atmosphere. That's what it is. Okay, I'm going to let you make so it. So you got to let me make it. But y'all got to like, subscribe, share, follow us on all social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. You name it, we're on it. But we just started doing Patreon. So if y'all haven't started following us on Patreon yet, you have to, have to, have to do that because that's the only place you're going to find our full-length interviews after a while. It won't be on YouTube. Y'all been begging for these full-length interviews, so go to Patreon, do our membership, and you will have them all. Man, we got something special for you guys today, man. You got to understand, this guy right here, I'm going to be real with you. We was out eating. Yes. <laughs> we was at the Cheesecake Factory, right? At the bar. At the bar. Yes. And we was just sitting there, and this guy is sitting beside us. Mm -hmm. And you know me, Mr. Motormouth. We talk. <laughs> don't do no, I don't meet no strangers. Everybody is, a, you can be a victim of my conversation at any time. And I got proof here today because <laughs> this guy right here became a victim of a Ball Star 101 EC. Yo, man, just by sitting down eating or just sitting down uh -huh. drinking. Were we watching the game? Was it the Super Bowl? Bowl? Was it the Super Bowl? It wasn't the Super Bowl. It wasn't the Super Bowl or nothing like that. It wasn't the Super Bowl. But it, it was we a game. We were just there. Because what's their game? Because yo, we, everybody, we wanted seats, but they were super packed. They were crowded. So that's why we ended up at the bar. God I think did. Was, I think it was the Super Bowl. God did. Oh, okay. God did. God did. He got us, he got us <laughs> together, man. That's Dre, man. Matters. I got Dre here today, y'all. This guy right here, man. It was Super Bowl. Because I remember that's the time yeah, that we yeah, were here. Was we were there for exactly Super Bowl. Year ago. Sure yeah, was. Yeah. Sure was. Man, so... Man, so you are different, man. I watch your page. I became a fan instantly that day, actually, because when you meet good people, God put you with people, man. You got to just acknowledge the fact that something great has happened, man. I looked. You had million subscribers. I'm like, what is this guy doing with a million <laughs> subscribers? Who is this guy? You know, I'm being real. That's, I'm just telling you how I felt. Yeah, 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 and it was sure. just a, a thing where I start watching you, man, and I seen the work ethic, and then I would text you like I did, just checking in, man. Just thank you so much for even, you know, uh, rocking with us like for you sure. have been rocking with Boss Talk One. He said he watched some of the yeah, most watch, of the episodes. Watch, some of them for him, awesome. some of them not. I watch, I watch, watch some of them. Yeah, every time when he pops up on my page, I'm like, oh, let me see what my guys okay, are doing awesome. over there in, in Texas. <laughs> that's do you good watch stuff. them on YouTube or you watch them on Instagram? On Instagram, most of see, the time. See, that's what like most the, people do. Like the snippets and stuff. I okay, love it, cool. man. Yeah. I love it. Get it. So, okay. First of all, because I'm going to go in your background and all of that, but okay. I got to ask this question because when people nowadays see a million views on anybody's social media platform, the first thing people think, oh, that's fake views, that's fake followers, that's bought. Yeah. So is yours bought? No, mine is um, acquired through time. I've been okay. doing this music thing for a really long time. I think I've been on IG since... They had the little square, the little square <laughs> logo, like long time ago. Like I think I got on IG like 2010, 2011. Uh -huh. So I've been grinding it out. You know, I had a few songs that took off. Um, 2018, I had a song top 20 in Mexico. Then I had a big record here in LA. It was called Loco mm -hmm, with uh, mm -hmm. Jiro Miro and Cap G. Mm -hmm. That was a big record for me. So I've been grinding. You know, I've been, okay. I've been, I've been in this for a long time. And, um, yeah, that's how I got Because, you know, that's people going to yeah. think that. It's like, okay, well, I never heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you get that? Most of my audience is, like, in uh, Latin America, Eastern mm -hmm. Europe. Okay. You know, uh, Middle East. Mm -hmm. You know, like, those are kind of, like, my main. And also, L.A., I got, I got a good following here in L.A., too. So now you're trying to build your platform to be worldwide, where yeah. everybody else, all the other places are yeah. just, just as much popular. For sure. Yeah, I'm trying to expand and... Um, you know, I've been working on my music, and with the new music coming up, you know, I'm trying to really go yeah, worldwide. Yeah, because you work with Junior Reed, too. Yeah, I did a song with Junior Reed 2012. Yeah. 2000, we did, like, a crazy... How did that dubs. happen? Um, actually, he had a show in Oakland. Okay. And at the time, I was living in Seattle, and I drove over with mm -hmm. my team all the way to Oakland to meet him, and we did the video. Initially... Um, but how did you get a connect? You kind of, you know, oh, you know, he has a show over there. So he's I reached out to his son. I reached out okay. to his son on uh, on Facebook. I, I think. Okay. 
And he told me, yo, we're coming in town, you know, and then we did the collaboration. He recorded it back in Jamaica. Oh, okay. So it was dope. Yeah, I have, I'm pretty connected with Jamaica. I go there a lot, you know. I so, see. So yeah, I was, I was in Kingston like two years ago. I did a song with Sean Paul. Ooh. Yeah. Is that, that out? Yeah, it's out. What's that yeah. called? It's called uh, Closer to You. Now okay. let me let me check you again. Yeah. Now let me check you by asking about this fake okay. view stuff. Don't play with the God, man. This guy right here, man. We're not playing no games, man. Yeah. We in the building. God you bless the drop. God yeah. just just dropped the blessing on us. And don't even play with it. You know? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of um, reggae music for sure. I see. Because so, I know you're from there. That's why. Right. I'm, so I grew up with Bob Marley. Like all my dad had is a tape, two tapes he mm -hmm. had in the car. Mm -hmm. One was with. Bob Marley and one was like best reggae 96 or something <laughs> people don't understand that reggae is like it's such a worldwide love genre yeah. of music because you said from your dad but yeah. you're from Romania from right Romania yeah and as far as there mm -hmm. and they're listening to yeah reggae music yeah exactly that's awesome that's exactly. huge it's that's huge. huge it's huge so were you raised with your mom and dad in Romania yeah I was raised uh, in Romania and uh, when I was 16, I moved to the States okay. with, with both of my parents. When I think about Romania, I think about like strict, like y'all don't smile, y'all. Like, that's what I'm <laughs> it's more like, like. It's more like Russia. Like we, we're more like laid back. We're more like, like, uh, like South America. We're more chill. We like to party. Okay. We're, we're more relaxed. But yeah, we're surrounded by Slavic countries like Russia and they're kind of like, I don't know, more serious about More serious. It seems like y'all got a lot of money, man. Right. It seems like some money going on when I be watching y'all. The movies make y'all look like y'all got money. <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking about Fast and the Furious and stuff. How they oh, go. Yeah, 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 think yeah, about yeah. it. They're like, damn, they rich over there. They got money. In some kind of way, these folks getting money. Is it uh, like what it is in the movies? I mean, I mean, some people got money. Yeah, we do have. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people with a lot of money. And I think you find more. Lamborghinis and Rolls yeah. Royces in Bucharest than you find in LA. If, because it's just like how the culture is. We, we were a communist country, so when people start making money, they want to show their, their show wealth, it. you know? Wow. It's not like here, you know, where you have people driving, you know, $10,000 cars, but they're multi-millionaires. Over right. there, if you have you go a Lambo, it. that's kind of like your budget. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's how it is. Like, it's just different culture, you know. So, yeah. you were you raised with your, I know you were raised with mm -hmm. your mom and dad, do you have any siblings? No, no siblings. It's only child, no, no. spoiled brat. Yeah, I mean, Got I guess. Got whatever you want. I guess, yeah. Well, my dad passed away when I was 20, so oh, I kind of wow. been on my Sorry. own for like R. R. P., a good So, bit. where's mom? Mom, she's in uh, Seattle right now. Seattle? Yeah, she lives on that side. Oh, wow. wow. And then she comes visits me once in a while. Yeah, because that's when you moved here, you moved to Seattle first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it Seattle? How's it? How's it? Man. You, you didn't stay? I'm not trying to like. <laughs> you don't wanna, you don't it just be rains a lot. Oh, it rains really? a lot. People are very introverted. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was what it was. It was Party a life, life wasn't good? I mean. Not like LA. Nah. Everything is like. It's very small. It's very, very like, clicky. Very clicky. You know, everybody hangs out with whoever they grew okay. up with, if you have an accent or if you're a little more exotic looking. You know, I was just about gonna, to say. You're not going to fit in. You're not going to fit in. Because you came here when you were yeah. 16, so you were in high school. Yeah. So I'm sure you got teased all the time because of a, your accent. I had a hard time, man. Tell me, I, about, tell me about this. Imagine I came here when I was like 16. I right. was ready for action. <laughs> <laughs> and I see a beautiful girl. Like I, I look at her. She looks at me. I'm like, man, what, how am I, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get it, but I don't know what to. Oh, but you figured but, it out fast. What did you say the first time I, you went I, to a girl? What did you say? I don't say? know. I just, I was really shy because... Like my humor was different. Like it's different culture. culture different. Yeah. So I was just staying quiet. I played basketball all day. That's all I did. <laughs> played basketball. And it was like one day, one wow. day I'm a win. <laughs> so your first relationship with an American young lady. Yeah. What was the cultural differences or the cultural um, difficulties? I should say that y'all had in the relationship. Language right? barriers. Other than Be that, besides language, is just uh, the culture is so much different. Um, I have a lot of respect for the people that are from here you mm -hmm. know of course because we're in we're in this country but they're very stiff <laughs> really very stiff and very narrow-minded so it was hard Explain. for me to give me an example like, like i don't know they they want everything to be scheduled okay. every, like we go on dinner at 
Thursday at 6 p.m. on LinkedIn. You just went out with a woman. That's yeah. every woman in the world. <laughs> you're, you're 18 years old. Like we're, I'm 18 too. Like what you mean we're planning a dinner? Let's just go. That's why you know? me and girls are not like that. I don't know. Maybe they are not. I don't know. <laughs> no, but, like but everything that. was very like very very structured and very um, surfaced. Right. You know, it was hard for me to like to like open up and really f get affectionate. So I, I guess. Yeah, and I haven't even had like an American girlfriend like that, to be honest. Then you who know? do you date? Uh, Romanian girl. I mean, they like European, like, Europeans. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's why you got a million subscribers. You fly out. <laughs> you, you don't have to be here. You can fly out tomorrow. That's what he do. <laughs> yeah. Is he tripping? Yeah, yeah gotta, he might go anywhere. I, I, I got to chill with the fly out. The, 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 the prices be going up. <laughs> <They> be going <laughs> Inflation is real. Hey, so yeah. let's get into it, man. Yeah. Uh, Rick Ross, I see him on, yeah. your, on your IG. Y'all look dope. Like, like uh, man, how was it working with him? Um, how did you even put that play together? Uh, that was a dream come true, you know. Uh, my team, I uh, have a team in New York, Renegade Territory, uh, Serge Morales and j -Val. They reached out to G Jeter, uh, Rick Ross's yeah, uh, yeah. Role, role manager, and they made it happen. We made the song. Uh, we recorded a song a while back. And then uh, last year, a few months ago, they were like, yo, you're trying to do this video? I was like, let's get it. And so I went to Miami and we got it done. It was a dream come true, you know, working wow. with the boss. And we connected, and uh, we're keeping in touch. And I'm excited about the release, you know. It's coming out soon. Hey, what have you learned from him? Um, from him. Uh. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's such a, he, he started as an artist, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and now he's more like a mogul. He's more like a, like a businessman. Mm -hmm. And that's something I always... Uh, considered also, you know, beside outside of the artistic part mm -hmm. of like music, I like that the the business aspect. We actually connected on some business stuff. We started talking about some business. I got some. Um, I got a construction company in Tulum. Okay. I'm building different different things over there, houses and working mm -hmm. on the hotel. And when I start talking to him and talking to him about the returns in uh, in that business over there, he 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 got he excited. He was like, "All right, it's not just music." So we connected on that. And um, I can't wait to release the song, meet up with him again, and see where it goes from there. And when there. is it being released? I'm actually waiting for my for my team and for the label. Um, we're working with this label called Symphonic, mm -hmm. um, independent label. So we're waiting for all the details, and okay. hopefully soon we're gonna we're gonna release it. I'm excited about it. So yeah. you say Rick Ross? Uh, he worked with Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, he worked with what was that Junior one? Reed. Junior, Junior Reed. Reed. Who else have you worked with? He worked with Gucci. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Man. Yeah. Come on, Gucci. man. You ain't yeah. working with Gucci, man. Before, mm. before you went to jail. I knew that, yeah. Jew. That's yeah. the Gucci I knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met that Gucci. We had, we had a song. We had a song. We had a song. It was like an unofficial release because of everything that was uh, going, going on. on at the time. Yeah, I had that. I had one with uh, Pusha T. Yeah, one with Pusha T. Mm. Yeah, that's hard, man. Juicy J. Juicy J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I, that I also, liked the ratchet. And I got one with DJ Paul too recently. Man, that's yeah. hard. So, so how did you just did one with DJ Paul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He jumped on the remix. I had this song with uh, Rich the Kid. Yeah, okay. and we did like a Latin remix, and he jumped he on the jumped song. On it. Yeah, he's amazing, man. Good wow. vibes. What 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 sticks out to you about DJ Paul? DJ Paul, he's just very humble and real guy. Uh, we haven't really met in person. We talked over the phone, and, and you then can we texted. I can tell he's a real one. Like, Man, that's the like somebody that did so much for the music, and he's such a big legend in the South. Oh, you know, very like much. So. Three Six Mafia, we it was so big in in the early two thousands. Yeah, and then he's so humble and nice. I feel like I knew the guy for like we've been friends for it, a minute. Is they still so, the only group that has the Oscar? Because you know they got their so. heart out here for a pimp. I think yeah, they're the yeah, only yeah. one. They, they got the on the soundtrack. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm, so. so. I'm curious. That's so, all. When, they, when you were in Romania, well, you weren't rapping back then? No, nah, I started rapping in uh, 2004. 2004? In Romanian. I was rapping in Romanian. And then I moved, uh, I was going back and forth at the time. I was spending a lot of time in Romania because I was bored over there in Seattle. Yeah. I was like, man, I'm going to go back to Europe. <laughs> Stay some, spend a few years over there. And then I came back to Seattle and um, I started making music with a couple of guys over there in Seattle. And they were like, man, you got to start doing going in English. This Romanian thing is not going right. <laughs> to stick. So that's when I started to force myself to write and rhyme in. Um, How hard was it for you to learn English? 
it was hard. It was hard. But I mean, you're doing very well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now I just started on my last album. I'm not even rapping anymore. I'm singing mostly. I'm doing mm. like melodic rap. So mm -hmm. it's been an evolution for me. It's been like a lot of perseverance and getting better all Aren't the time. Are there any Romanian rappers that are like big Romanian rappers? I mean, they're big over there. Like um, everybody in that Name part one. of the world. Tell me the biggest one over there. The biggest one is uh, actually my favorite. It's a group called BUG Mafia. They, okay. They're like, uh, they started in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And they're like the... But they're huge right now. Huge. They, they've been huge I need for to the look past. Them up. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like legends over there, yeah. I probably won't understand one word they're yeah, saying, but... but they, 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 they have like a really West Coast type of vibe, like, like Dr. Dre West Coast. Man! Like. But, yeah. But um, how did you feel when you wrote that song, Winding, uh -huh. and it won that online contest? It was crazy. That was like only like my fourth song. For Akon? Ever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, And yeah. you beat out like what? Yeah. 2,000, 200,000 people? I won, I won people? like, I won like, I think like eight weeks in a row. Like they were getting tired of my song. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is we did it in a, we did it like R&B version. Right. And then one of my producers in Europe did like a EDM remix. Uh -huh. And they were going crazy. Cause it sounded like a Akon big hit, but it was not Akon. But you better oh, yeah. sound like it. So yeah, you That's why he put you on his yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, and that's why we did that record. Yeah, yeah. Wow. How man? So are you pleased with like how you how how your success is being with these artists and collabing? Like that's not easy to do. Mm, a lot like of people a, not doing that. It's like a, it's like a dream come true for me, you know. But you know how humans are. Like whatever we get, we want more. Mm. So, yeah. So Never satisfied. Sometimes I gotta take a step back and really see like. Look at my life. Enjoy. And enjoy, like, that's one thing. But Man. when you're in the, in the rat race, you want to keep, you wanna keep, <laughs> you keep going. You want to keep on going. Yeah. You know, but, but that's what America yeah, does yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's America, yeah. That's America. I, I mean, promise you, that's what it is. That's the it's lifestyle America. here, yeah. yeah. You got to keep going, like. You look in LA, life in LA is super expensive, man. It's crazy. Man, I, I can't yeah. Hey, hey, you gotta be with Rick Ross or somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like. DJ Paul or, yeah. or, or Juicy J. That's somebody. why everybody moving to Atlanta. That's Atlanta. why a lot of people Do you like Atlanta? Atlanta? I like it. But it's you cool. couldn't, you, it ain't, it's not LA. It's cool, but I, I don't know if I can live there full time. I, I, would, I definitely like the creative vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like you can go what there. What about Miami? Miami. Man, it's, I don't know. It rains and stops. It feels like you're in Panam Panama City or something. It doesn't <laughs> even feel like you're in the United States. It's all Latin, you know? It's so Latin. With, with the catalog that you have and all the people that you've worked with now, mm -hmm. this is like a huge catalog. Who would you like to work with next that you have not worked with yet? Oh, yeah, I want to do one with Drake. Ooh. Yeah. And, and, and it could happen. I'm going to put it in the universe. That'd be I just gotta, just have your people I, reach I, out. I, I got to prove myself first more, even more. Like, you know, I did a lot, but... There's so much more work to do. You mm. know? Yeah. So, what's your downfall with your music? Like, where do you th see that you are not? Where you want to be? Yeah. It's just like it's just like the whole social media. It's like it changes all the time, and it's like it it takes all your energy. It does I take feel. a lot of time. So that's kind of like something I need to like go even harder on. Like, but it's just like. Sometimes you just want to throw your phone away, you know. That's the that's the the real. You can't win for losing. Be like, man, I'm gonna throw this phone that's away. That's why you and hire somebody. To enjoy do. life, you know. Yeah, that's that's for sure. You yeah. can hire somebody, but you still gotta keep up with what that hired person is doing. Of you course. You don't get away from it. That's a, in your mind. You've made this place where yeah. I don't have to do it. That does not exist. If you're gonna be great at something, yeah. you have to be in control of what's going on. With you still it. check, but it's, you're not gonna spend as much time as you if know, you have I to try do it. It's not gonna be the same. I try. I tried it though. I tried that. And You're the only happened? one that understands your brand. That's that's the sad that's part the about truth. it. And that's what I'm saying. And because people would always try to post things or or make the audience perceive you in a way that's not really you. So you always gotta like be hands on. But, so but, do you think like even if you go to say I say Snoop? Yeah. Do you think he run heels? Huh? No. I'm asking. I didn't ask you. <laughs> I think it's a combination. I do too. I think it's a combination. When all the, all yeah. these all these uh, big big names, I think it's a combination to the point where they have access to it twenty four seven, but they also have a schedule of posts mm -hmm. that somebody's making. 
Of course. So they kind of like anything that's going on. Yeah, because we yeah. have interviewed people yeah. before who their label or whoever yeah. is controlling their social media, but they also have access to it. Yeah. So they post and they post as well. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, say you post something and your yeah. label don't agree with it, they'll take yours down. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's real. So it's like that. I mean, those people that have a lot of brands and a lot of. I'm sure there's different politics when it comes to, to their social media. They can't really mm -hmm. post it. You know? How are you going to up the ante? What, what are you going to do to make this brand pop even man, more for 2023? Me, I still, How are you going to pop this me, brand, I still, believe, I still believe in the music, man. I believe okay. that the music is going to connect. So you going to bring more? Yeah, and then, and then I, I want to... My One of my strategies is to promote my music in Europe, heavy, and bring the success from Europe to the States. Like Try to like reverse it in a way. So I have a strong team over there and we plan on like, even with the Rick Ross record, you know, that's coming up, it's called Bands. We're gonna- Bands. Bands, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna just- You know what that's talking about when he say mm -hmm. bands. You know. You know, them boys have some bands <laughs> to make them dance. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them so, boys say bands, you know we just finna, band, one word, they finna bands. go crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so, so if you, if, I mean, when you look at the way that things are about to transpire mm -hmm. this year, yeah. Um, is it hard being on a label and then trying to get them to put songs out when you want? They creatively trying to help, yeah. but to do I know you want to you 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 want to do things, mm -hmm. but don't they have like boundaries put and set in place to where things are coming out in a way to where everybody yeah. on the team can agree? The thing is like what I believe as a as an independent label that I've been shopping my music around okay. a little bit lately, so trying to trying to get a feel of the market. I feel that the economy kind of affected the overall in this music industry. So yeah. now labels really want to see what they're putting their money mm -hmm. into. So if you're not popping on TikTok and if your music is not, you know, they're more hesitant to like go in on the, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Like, Do you want, do you want that? Because being, now that all the resources are out here yeah. and the things that you can do creatively on your own with yeah. the right, I told Derez Deshaun this when we was interviewing him and me and him talked about that. Being mm -hmm. that he was on a label, now that he's independent, understanding how to maneuver yeah. and in a way to where you know you got to make this thing happen on your own and you have your manager in place, you have your distribution team in place. You you can kind of literally build your whole brand up independently like it's a label behind it. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, but it's all at the end of the day, it's all about having a good product and having money for marketing. That's it. Like if you don't have the money for marketing, it's very difficult, independent or not independent. But... You know, when you're with the big label, it's also, there's pros and cons, you know, because they give you the money and they also have the relationships with all the outlets. So, but at the end of the day, you get a smaller cut of the music. So, it's 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 such a interesting business. What I'm do, still learning. What do you, you're 40, you're, you're million streams. Yeah. Drake, don't even equal to nothing but $4,200. Yeah, yeah, exactly. $4,200. Yeah. You got to do a lot of streams. I gotta, for my Rick Ross song, for me to, to break even, I got I to gotta get at least 40 million streams. See what I'm saying? <laughs> but then even, <laughs> that's be, why it's like, real. I mean, after you do like, to you recoup. Know, yeah, to recoup with the marketing and everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such a, comp it's like a, it's like a lottery. You're better off going to Vegas and you put it on, <laughs> on the roulette and just be like. But 4,200. <laughs> Dollars. Yeah. This but that's why low. they talk about an artist not just being a, a rapper, a singer, and just do your streams. You got to be a total artist. You're doing yeah. your shows. You're doing your merch. You're doing this. So you're trying to recoup that money not from just streams. So it can come back a little bit faster. Yeah. There's, there's, there's different ways about it. It's just at the end of the day, the music has to connect or you as an artist and person have to connect with the audience. That's so, right. so I want you to tell my, our fans um, yeah. something about you for them to fall in love with who you are as a person. <laughs> because yeah. it's not always about the music. Yeah. It's who you are. The, represent the representation of you should always come through your music. But yeah. who are you that our fans need to go out and look you up and yeah. fall in love with you? Man, I'm just a, a real guy, you know. I came in this country as a kid. Uh, dream, big dreams, you know. Um, and I'm just following, still following my dreams, and I'm always gonna keep it real. I'm always gonna say what's in my heart, and if it connects with the audience, that's amazing. And at the end of the day, um, life is so short, 
And um, if you're able through your art or whatever you do to inspire a couple of kids to, to follow their dreams, I mean, that's your mission on earth, you know, mm-hmm. just, just to do that. So I'm just gonna stay humble, stay real, you know, and just let the music speak for itself. I'm never gonna go crazy or start beefing with people. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna just be myself. And if it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen. If not, well, that, that's that. Something else. My destiny was something else. That's awesome. <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, if, uh, if, if Dre or somebody say your name in a song, uh, if he don't do a song with you, either ride with you or collide with you. <laughs> And if somebody's supposed to, if somebody <laughs> wants to take a trip to Romania, yeah. what is it about Romania that they have to go and see? First of all, you gotta be single to go to Romania. <laughs> it's, Why? Not, it's not, not good. It's not for, it's not for, for, Why? for a freshly married or. <laughs> all, all the men or, trying to take the yeah. girls and the no, girls the trying women. to take the men. No, there's a lot the of women. beautiful women in Romania. There's a lot of beautiful yeah. women over there. There's and they a lot love of black guys. So you gotta. <laughs> yeah, they love dark green, skinned they, guys they, like me? Black, green, whatever. <laughs> 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 you know, it's all about like what you bring into the table. There's so many beautiful women over there. Yeah. Why you left? You should have stayed then. I mean, that was just that's how my life, you know. Just when I had I had to come it's here with my family, and then then I was not feeling home 100 percent there because I was used to the states life. So, mm-hmm. but Romania is amazing. I'm actually going back this summer. Best food in Romania. You should best food. Yeah. There's a lot of traditional food. Like but what should we try when we know. go? I just, um, me, I just eat chicken. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't really. Can you cook? Uh, no, nah, not really. <laughs> Dabble a little <laughs> bit. You cook pancakes. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Little, you know, pancakes, little eggs. Scrambled yeah. legs. That's you know, it. Have you got to learn how to cook so you can woo your woman and, you know, cook for her sometimes. That's only in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> she, she better come see me fed already. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, who, okay, so... Like I heard you talk about the guys, but what about yeah. working with women? Oh, what you mean, like uh, the, the like, like the features? features. So you features women. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, have I, any I female do that. features. I want to do that too, but I just I don't know. Like you end up being in a relationship with them. It's not no, no, good. No, no, no. <laughs> no. That's probably there's why no he Romanian hasn't girls yet. That, no, I, you, yeah. is, is there any artist Romanian women? Uh, there, there's a few really talented and beautiful ones. But we need to do that. Yeah, yeah. We, we got to up the ante. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what we, we do in 2023. We, diversify. we gotta yep. keep it. We can. We <laughs> get more different men. Yeah. Men are gonna come through the girls. So if yeah, you yeah, come, yeah, yeah. Oh, here you're they right, come. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna work on that. Get, get about 20, get 20 Romanian girls. Get on one of them a big old uh, yacht she was on, mm-hmm. and just go out there and just go in. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So tell us something in Romanian. Um. You want to hear Romanian to talk? What yes. you want me to say? Yeah. Say, tell her, tell our fans something. Tell something. Man, I'm never good Some- at this. <laughs> um, I don't know. This just um, what should I say? Um, mă bucur foarte mult că sunt aici cu voi la această emisiune um, și sper să mai colaborăm și în viitor. Um, what I said is. <laughs> I'm happy that I'm here with you today That's and all. I hope we're gonna collaborate in the future. That's we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. It almost so, Romanian almost sound like a little bit of Spanish. Yeah. It's That's a, what I was hearing. I was trying to figure out if Romanian would sound more like French or Spanish, but it, it sounds almost like sounds a, a little like bit like more. It has a Latin base. Yeah, it has Latin a Latin base. feel. Yeah, yeah. Latin feel. Um, kind of like Portuguese, Spanish. Italian, like okay. it's in the same range. Top three artists of all time. You know we going to Dead or Alive. Top three artists, Dead Top or Alive. Any genre. Any genre. Any genre. Yes. Number one. Number one. Um, the Michael, Big Dog. Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's always yeah, that's but, always Number one. two. Uh, Freddie Mercury. Who the heck is Who that? Who is that? From, from the Queen. From Queens. What does he sing? Or what does uh, he yeah, he, he had a... I don't know. Had a good run. But me, I'm, going, exactly I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going off the, their performance. And I'm their going to look him up. I'm yeah, going to yeah, look Freddie him up. Mercury, Freddie yeah. Mercury, Number three. Number three, DMX. Mm. Ooh, boy, that boy was You cold. love DMX. Yeah. Man. What's your favorite song? Here we go again. Uh, I like all his songs. What they really I'm, want. I'm a big, big fan. Yeah, yeah. No, but me, I'm looking at... You know, as an artist, I always watch performances. Performance. He has energy like yeah, crazy. Like Michael Jackson, when he performed in Bucharest in 1990, right after yeah. th- we had like you a saw it? I didn't see it. I saw it on TV, but seeing all these people fading and the emotion <laughs> and yeah. the show. Yeah. And then same with, if you guys are going to look at Freddie Mercury, like 
It was the same. From Queens, Queens. I, I Queens. don't know. From yeah, Queen, that group. Queen. It was a big group. Yeah. Um, like, like I'm just looking at the overall like people that kind of like had an effect. The love they on had me. for and him. And then, of course, you there's some. Top three is very hard, like Bob Marley. I was about to say, you didn't put Bob Marley in there. He's not in your top three. He's not in your top three, man. I threw Bob Marley on my leg, so. Oh, yeah? It's real. So he should have been in the top three then. Yeah, it's just like what came to to me in the moment. but No, you you, you gave your top three. And then, and then, yeah. So man. those were like the ones that kind of like captured my... How can people get a hold of you if they trying to read? If they trying oh, yeah, to link you do with a feature I'm everywhere. With you. I'm, on, I'm on IG, Dre Ross, D-R-E-I-R-O-S. You can find me everywhere. Now I go by Dre, but my IG handle is Dre Ross. YouTube, um, on TikTok, I'm that, that boy Dre on TikTok. Woo! That <laughs> boy Dre! <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get that part how, 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 how many followers you got? Uh, on TikTok, not much. It's just that. No, not I'm, good. I'm, not, not good. I'm not big on the dancing and the skits. You gotta tell them. Yeah, 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 do it, man. I gotta, you gotta do it. I gotta get on it more. <laughs> so, so yeah, that, that's how you find me. Man, awesome. thank you so much for coming on the show. We thank love you. you, Dre. Thank you. Man, we, we know already it's a blessing. We will work more together because I'm, I'm, every time I'm, I'm looking for you, I'm trying yeah. to figure out what's going on next. Let's do I another want, one after I drop the music. Okay. You come to Dallas? Yeah, I come to Dallas. Thank man. You, you still got to introduce me to, to Scarface, man. I got Somehow. you. I will get, no, I will get you on the phone with him. Yeah, yeah, And, yeah. and after I do that, he's yeah, going to take it there. Okay. I can, right. I can get you on the phone. That, right. I yeah. can do that quick. That's like for me, Scarface, like... Growing up as a kid, you had Biggie in the East, you had Pac on the West, Scarface in the South. Didn't I tell him that? You know, I, I don't play about Scarface. Yeah. What you know, was man. it that you loved the most about Scarface? I don't play about PMC, Scarface. I mean, Scarface, man. I mean, I used to play his music like, you know. Yes, yes, y'all. All, all day, all day. Like, he had that album, The Fix. Yeah, yeah. That was like classic and the one I've before Untouchables oh. classic like, see he giving it to you yeah, he giving like, it all the way to like you I used to bump that old like 2000 to 2003 every day Scarface yeah. check it man Boss Talk got listen man this cat is Romanian <laughs> this cat is the truth and and I just put you on the map with Romania. You owe me one. You got to call me. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. And we out. We out.